so good day guys so what we are doing this video is we are uh we are proving this quadratic formula which is x is equals to is the formula method used for quadratic equations so we want to know how they derive this formula so using what the completing the square method so if you are new to this channel i will urge you to subscribe to my youtube channel to have access to mind-blowing video like this so that you can be notified when i drop interesting video like this so without wasting much of our time let's dive into this work so the general formula for quadratic equation is a s square plus b x plus c so that is the general equation for quadratic equation so we are going to be using completing the square method to derive the quadratic formula so the first step we are going to do is that we are going to bring this c to this side so we are now going to be having a s square plus b x is equals to minus c then we are going to divide both sides by a divide both sides by a so that's the next step so we divide both sides by a now we are having s square plus b x over a is equals to what minus c over a now the next thing we are going to do is the coefficient of x here is what b over a i hope you understand we are going to multiply this coefficient of x by what 1 over 2 then we will square our answer i hope you understand the the logic you will multiply this coefficient of x the coefficient of x here is b over a so i hope you understand so we multiply it by what 1 over 2 then you will square the answer after doing that you are going to add it to both sides yeah you are going to add it to this side and what add it to this side also i hope you understand so that's what we are going to be doing now so we're doing it like this so we do it like that so we have what let me use another color we have b over a multiplied by one over two so we square it right we are now going to be having b over two a squared so we write we had this b over two a square to the to the left hand side and we also we also add it to the what right hand side so that the it won't be as if we manipulate it in mathematics what to do to the left hand side you should be able to do it to the what right hand side so let's do it now so we are now going to be having let me use another color so we are having what s square plus bx over a plus b over 2a into what square is equals to minus 6a plus b over 2a square i hope you understand so automatically even then we can cancel it like this so it means when we cancel it we are going to have the same answer again assuming we cancel it like this we will come back to this place so it means everything we are doing is not what is not wrong so we are just trying to express it in another way so for us to now factorize this we need to factorize this so for us to factorize this we if you notice this we have x here we have b over 2a here we have b over a here so it means for us to factorize this we are going to be having x plus b over 2a everything was square if you open the brackets you are going to come back to this place i hope you understand if you open the brackets you are going to what come back to this place so it means this is what what we do so we are now going to be having what minus c over a plus this one will be what b square over and b times b b square 2a times 2a you know that square is here so 2a times 2a so we are not going to be having 4a square i hope you understand let me move to the next slide so we are having x plus b over 2a square is equals to what do we say we have in that place uh, we have minus c over sorry over a plus b square over 4a square so we are going to find the lcm here 
we have x plus b over 2a square so let's find the fcm so fcm is 4a square so you remove a from this uh, 4a square divided by a so we have in what 4a 4a times minus c so we have minus 4ac plus 4a square divided by 4a square we have 1 1 times b square so that's b square so we are now going to be having x plus b over 2a square is equals to so you can just rewrite this this in another way so that minus will not be in the front we are now going to be having b square minus 4ac over 4a square that's not all we are not true so we are now going to be having so let's square both sides square root of both sides square root of both sides we are now going to be having x plus b over 2a is equals to we are now going to be having what b square minus 4ac and uh -huh. this is something you must know that you can write it in this way if you have something like this a over b you can write it like like this i hope you understand so let's continue to the next slide we are now having x plus b over 2a is equals to square root of b square minus 4ac okay let me write it in another way so that's how we have x plus b over 2a let me divide it don't want to waste a lot of space so this equals to what b square minus 4ac over square root of what 4a square so we are now going to be having x plus b over 2a right so we are now going to be having b square minus 4ac what is square root of 4a square so that is what 2a i hope you understand so let's bring this to this side so and you know that in whenever you find square root of a substance uh, of a number plus or minus will be in the front so i made a mistake i should put plus or minus here plus or minus will be in every place we started using uh so plus or minus should be there so so we now so bring this to this place so we are not going to be having x is equals to minus b over 2a plus or minus b square minus 4ac over 2a so x is equals to so find the lcm so lcm is 2a we are now going to be having minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac so now we have proved the quadratic formula using the words completing the square method i hope you gain something in this video so i will urge you if you are new to my channel to subscribe to my youtube channel to have access to interesting video like this so that's that for this video bye